What's up, guys? What's up? That was a bad intro. All right, I really want this autofocus to quiet. This is, uh, I know, I fuck my autofocus. Anyways, but basically, if you didn't already see, this camera lens, fuck, busted right now, at the moment, out of commission, out of commission. So I'm using this other one, but I'm pretty sure it has a super loud autofocus. Um, because I can hear it, especially it's echo. I'm gonna just try to keep it right here. Um, but basically today, I just want to, uh, today I just want to talk about health. Um, by the title, your health is your wealth. It's so simple because if you work here, if you work super hard, you do all this kind of stuff, um, like you, you make all this money, what good what use is that? How good is that if you're not healthy and you can't live and use it and like not reap the benefits, but like you earned it, why wouldn't you want to do it? So how do you do that? By having your health. Your health is your wealth. That's ultimately what it comes down to. Um, I'll be the first to admit, I've been slacking on my health. Like I've been putting on some weight here because I've been so focusing on working, 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 uh, not been going to the gym as much, not keeping a healthy lifestyle, but I've been making an emphasis on it the past um, past little bit, um, probably the past like week and a half, and already I noticed a difference up here, physically, everything. It's just been overall so good, so many benefits from it, and it made me realize that like I preach health is your wealth, but like by not taking time off and then coming back to it, it actually is. Like I can fully con contest. Is that the right word? I make up a lot of shit, I think, sometimes with stuff like that, but I can test. I, I, I strongly believe and know that your health is your wealth. Um, personal experience and from seeing other people do it as well. Yeah, so I can honestly um, say that and agree with that. So, yeah. Um, so the, I'm going to keep this one shorter, but basically, the biggest tip I can have is people want to take their health seriously. I'm no, like, fitness expert or anything like that there's people out there but my biggest tip from I've been doing fitness in the fitness niche sort of thing that was a really weird way to do quotations <laughs> but basically um, I've been doing it for about six almost seven years now now that I think about it the biggest piece of advice I can give from personal experience from doing bad things from doing good things is just take it slow if you want to lose some weight, if you want to change your lifestyle, if you eat out all the time or you don't do, if you don't work out or anything, if you don't work out, don't tell yourself you're going to go seven days a week. First off, you shouldn't be going seven days a week, but secondly, like you're setting yourself up for failure by doing that. Start going once or twice a week, or maybe you start walking more, or if you eat out a lot, maybe you only eat out for lunch once a week. Don't only pack, you see what I mean? Like, you gotta slowly build into it. You gotta set yourself up success, success. and that, that's, leave it at that, that's the biggest tip. Uh, if you have any question, let me know. I'm all, like I said, my Instagram's always there. I answer everyone, everyone's questions, all that kind of stuff. Um, always looking to down and connect. And also, sorry, um, a lot of you guys are in the entrepreneur niche. If you're not, totally cool, that's awesome. I'm trying to have a diverse channel here. Um, but basically, whatever you're in, life in general, anything like that, you can tell the, the successful people, money or not, the successful people are the ones who take care of themselves because they know their health is their wealth, that's gonna be with them long term. So don't make all this money, don't do all these crazy things, don't help all these people. If you're not helping yourself, physically, mentally, all that kind of stuff, overall health, but basically, take care of yourself and then that's gonna make everything else you're doing worth it. And like that's, in my opinion, that's the fake entrepreneurs because the fake entrepreneurs are the ones who just show all this fancy stuff, all these cars, all these, all this money, all these fancy clothes, but then they don't even take care of themselves because they're not thinking long-term and long-term is success. That's why short-term to me, short-term is whatever. It's, it's all about the long-term, but that's a whole other topic. I rambled on. I said that we're gonna keep this short. I lied to you guys. I'm sorry. Anyways, guys, hope you appreciated it. Not even gonna put a, if you guys haven't already, I talked about this in the video on Tuesday. Get this book, The Little Book of Clarity by Jamie Smart. Get it, you're not, you're not gonna regret it. Um, but yeah, I will uh, see you guys later. Peace out. Put this uh. Yeah, late night, oh it's a vibe. Let me slide, oh it's a vibe, yeah, yeah.